Man. You know... I, I look at Twitter today, okay? And I see that Elgato today is like... Showing all these things off. About new updates and stuff. And I'm like, whoa! That's cool, I have Elgato stuff, I like Elgato. And it, it's solely updates for a stream deck. That's like the one thing I don't have. <laughs> oh man. They look cool. It looks like a lot of like, uh, I don't know, the word that you're wanting specifically. Um, I don't know, just like, you know, customizability, I guess. Kind of what I mean. Um, I mean, that's kind of the whole point of a Stream Deck in the first place, but it looks like they made it easier to put in plugins for it and everything like that, which is real cool. Um, I have Elgato stuff, you know, microphone here, uh, Wave 3 microphone, highly recommend. Um, and then also uh, Camlink Pro for the camera, Might, not the camera itself, just to take in the feed of the camera. Uh, the camera's a Sony A6400, also recommend, very nice camera. Um, also occurred to me, I've never really recorded footage on it. I got it specifically, you know, to have a better camera, but also to use it as a webcam for streams here. That's really all I've done with it. <laughs> so I've never really recorded footage on it. I mean, I, I did a few test clips. Um, my hair is awful today. I'm just going to have to stop fighting with it. Um, but you know, I've really only done like almost 95%, if not higher than that, has been through streaming directly with you guys here. So, you know, that's a thing. Either way, not a bad problem to have. I'm totally fine with it. I have no problem with it. Um, gotta say though, uh, it's kind of a chill day today. Kind of a chill day. Um, you know, I was kind of like, yesterday I was like, oh, I'm going to stream, maybe play some Breath of the Wild or something like that. Then I was like, no, I don't, I don't feel like it. I did a few other things yesterday anyway, um, so it was fine. Um, and then I was also in uh, doing some other stuff yesterday that made me realize I couldn't stream anyway if I wanted to, so it's fine. It kind of worked out. It was a good decision. Um, but for today... I'm like, well, I gotta stream today. I gotta do a stream today. I was thinking about doing Breath of the Wild. I was very committed to doing Breath of the Wild, but I haven't done a drawing stream in a little bit, and I've still been kind of struggling on what to do, but I thought today, you know what? I wanna do some different emotions. I also wanna show off kind of the process of what I do for doing um, different versions of art that has already been made. So, you know, again, ideal thing, different expressions. If, you're, if you've been on uh, Von Schiller, uh, Steve that comes in here, um, I've done some emotes for him, and two emotes that are very similar are the uh, Angry Chicken and the Happy Chicken emotes. Those two emotes are very similar because they're basically the same base. Um, really all that's changed is the, the eyes a little bit at a different angle to look a little bit happier, uh, the coloring's a bit different. And the actual mouth is now, instead of being open, um, it's closed. The, the beak actually looks like more of a smile, um, which was kind of a hard thing to do, actually, because it had to look both like a beak and also look like a smile. Birds don't really smile um, too much. It's mostly in the eyes, um, but I didn't draw a lot of detail in the eyes originally, um, so I kind of had to find some way to do that. I'm still fighting with my hair. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just gonna, it's gonna look like crap today. Um, so, the air's very dry today too. I think that's mostly the reason. Um, but anyway, so, you know, I did that and, you know, they're basically the same two emotes. So I wanna do the same kind of thing with uh, the little chibi dude, um, which, I'm gonna put a picture on stream. But whatever, we'll look at it in a second. You guys will see it. Um, it is an emote in the chat. Um, Risk Red Angry Chibi. I guess it's not Risk Red fully, without the D, because Risk Red does not fit into the uh, the prefix. 
unfortunately. Um, either way, um, that is the emote for uh, that was made a couple streams ago. Uh, our last drawing stream, I believe. I don't think we've drawn anything since then on on stream, anyway. Um, so, I mean, that was a thing that we did. And I want to take what we drew. Also, to explain, too, what we drew last time was uh, basically like a recreation of like a, a icon graphic that I used um, years ago, um, before I was risk red, you know, so I want to reuse that though. I always liked that image. Um, but you know, with doing art now, I realized I can improve it. And, uh, so it is improved. I would definitely say, I, I mean, it has, it has shading and highlights, which the other one didn't have. It was all flat colors for the exception of a highlight on a version I never used, but it looked really bad. So, you know, it, you know, that automatically improved it, but we also improved the line art and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so we drew him as like an angry dude, um, which was kind of the original expression. For the most part, his eyes weren't as angry. They were mostly just kind of a bored expression, but the mouth was still kind of an angry mouth. Kind of, it, it wasn't really an angry mouth. It was just kind of an open mouth. But when it's angry, it looks like a, you know, a table flipping rage. <laughs> Um, that you get. So, we changed it to be angry from the original. I think it worked out a lot better. And uh, we slimmed the, the proportions down a little bit from the head just to make the head a little bit bigger. Um, you know, and fix some of the lines to make some stuff more pointy. All that kind of stuff. So, we did a lot of that. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to change from the base expression that we kind of copied from. Changed a little bit, mostly just in the eyes. And I want to change both the hand position, because his hands are kind of up like this, kind of facing up like that. I want to change that so that, um, well, I want to do two expressions. I want to do a happy one and kind of a sad, like, crying one. Oh, so sad. Um, but, you know, they work well. They're, they're necessary. You know, happy, sad, pretty basic emotions. Happy, sad, and angry. They're like the primary emotions, really, if you think about it. Like, the rest after that is kind of like combinations of those one. Not really, but let's just pretend that is. Um, so I mean, we gotta have those ones, right? Um, I think the happy one will be easier. We probably won't need to move him around too much. It'll probably just be redoing the face and the mouth and stuff. Um, the sad one, I'm not, I'm not sure how in depth I want to go with that one because I do want to make it a bit more unique. I want him to lean back a little bit, so that might be a little bit harder to do. We might need to redraw a bit more for that. Um, and I want his arms to be down. With the hand, with the happy one, I want him to still be up, but I want him to be, instead of like this, I want it to be like this. Um, or something like that, or maybe like this. I don't know. That would probably look weird. Probably something like, you know, just, hey, you know, like, yay. I'm, I'm using myself as reference. I'm, I'm a great reference, I know. Um, but you get, you kind of get what I mean, right? It's kind of like a, a cheering happy, and then the sad's kind of like, just like defeated. What I'm doing is just like, ugh. That's an emote somewhere. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, so, you know. I want to do those two things. Uh, yeah. That's basically that. I have a few things to get to as well before we do that. Um, I don't think it'll take too long to do that, so there's a few things I want to go over. Or we do that main part. Um, so, for one thing, I have a couple styluses. I showed these off, um, my main ones off before. Woo! The box opened and spammed. Mouse click. Um, so, I have a box. It's this Dimples XL. Woo! Open the box, you can see two. Stylus. It's great. Um, you got a black one and a blue. They come with a few tips in it. Um, they got... Let me take the black one out here. They got kind of a rounded tip. This is the stylus here. Let me uh, try to show this to you in more detail. This will zoom weirdly on my face, but you guys will see it. Here it is. This is the stylus here. 
and what you'll have, my nails are dirty as hell. Apologies. I get a lot of dirt in my nails really fast. That's it there. That's the thing. That is the stylus, numero uno. That's the main one that I use. There's a couple problems with it. You see that the, the tip kind of screws off, right? So we can screw this off and then we have the tip and it doesn't have a tip on it. Um, when you draw, you might draw a line like, like this and then you push against it and it unscrews. And then you hear this rattling. You know. Ha! You hear that every once in a while. So that's a bit annoying. Um, I don't like that. And then it also makes it harder to draw because it's not as stiff and the pressure is kind of off. And it's weird. Either way, these aren't like digital or anything. They're just like things that have tips that act as your finger, but it's a stylus, right? So, you know, they're totally fine. It's got these weird tips in it. Oh, actually, so these are double-ended, actually. Here it is again. If you take this end and screw this off, you get this, which is weird. It's like a little plate, not a plate, but it's like a disc on a little rubber end, and it moves around. And you're basically, it's like a flat disc that you're writing with. Very weird. People like it. I don't really like it. Um, it's a thing. There's a lot more of those ends, which I guess would be good if you like them, but I don't. Either way, the, the tips last really long. I only swapped them out because the pressure is a little bad in one of them, but either way, it's fine. It works well. I could still use these for quite a long time um, and not hate it. So... Those are really good, just general ones. I was then given a uh, Jesse that comes by the streams every once in a while. He gave me, I wanted to get a new stylus. And what I realized is, I think I've talked about this a little bit before, so I won't go into too much detail, but I have a, um, I have an iPad, but unfortunately the iPad is like a fifth generation. Hey Jesse, you know what's funny? I just, I just mentioned you. So that's funny. Jesse gave me this stylus. The, the haha key. I've never heard of it. But it's a thing. And it's very nice. I like how it feels. It's a very nice feeling stylus. From my understanding, it does not connect to your device directly. I could be wrong by that. But it almost feels, from my testing of it, it seems to just kind of tell the stylus how to like react when you use it internally. I don't know exactly, it's it's weird. I still am not sure about that, but it doesn't work unless you turn it on. It's very strange. Um, we got some bots coming on through, so that's fun. But yeah, I do notice the one thing I have that's a little bit of a problem with this um, is that I sometimes get jittery lines every once in a while. However, it's like very barely noticeable and it's only if I draw a line really slowly. So it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it's very insignificant. I do think I prefer this over my basic pens because it just has a firmer feel to it, which is very good. And also has a little charging pole on it. There's a micro uh, USB charging, which is very nice. And I like that for sure because my main stylus, which is the one I'll be using today, um, I got some extra stuff for it. Here it is. It's a Wacom stylus. This is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, I've had this for a long time. Um, it's supposed to work with really old iPads. Um, the whole way this works is it's got like a little um, silicone end. Very soft. And it unscrews... Hit the microphone, I'm sorry. It unscrews at the end. Um, you put a battery in. Unfortunately, the batteries for it are not like a double A or a triple A. It's a quadruple A, which is not as easy to find, especially in bulk. Um, so that's a bit annoying, but I can live with that. The, the one problem I have, though, 
is the pen is so, um, you know, old now, on top of the fact that it's made by Wacom, which does not make iPad styluses anymore, they don't make the nibs for it, or the, the ends, the little rubber ends, so it's hard to find them for, like, decent prices. That's not more than, like, $50 for, like, a pack of three. Um, I found some packs of three for, like, $8, I think. I bought two of them. I've replaced them. I have six now, um, which should last me a while, hopefully. Um, so that's good. Um, it has pressure sensitivity, so it has, like, line depth. Um, and it also has undo and redo buttons, which is very nice. So I like this one a lot. Um... That's what we're going to be using today. i got to connect it first, though. I was going to put the battery in. You're supposed to have a battery in and just turn it off, and then keep a spare battery. I don't do that because it still eats through the battery when it's inside, so I'd rather not do that. What was that sound? Not exactly sure. Hey, it's on. Nice. Is it connected already? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm just connecting it now. It sometimes is a bit of a problem. As I said, it's an old pen, right? So it's one of those things. I also forget where the pen stuff is. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's connected. Never mind. Is it actually connected? I can't tell. I can't tell. Yep, it's going Cool. All right, well, with that said, um, I guess we'll get into some art. Do some stuff. This is real cool. Real, real cool. I want to show you one other thing, too, actually, before we get into our little dude drawing. I want to show you something else, because I forgot this was a thing. I thought about it last night. I'm not going to do too much with it right now, because I'm not super experienced in this area. But uh, let's go to the old iPad over here. There it is. Woo! So you might notice these weird two things in the top. Now you might be wondering what that is. I forgot that Procreate has the ability to do animations. So these are little like quick two second things that I did. But like it's just you can do animations. Look at that. That's fun. So maybe there'll be use for that in the future. For something we do. Right now, no. I was just playing around with it. Really simple thing I did. Like in the middle of the night, I just was like, wait, does it have animation? Pull out the iPad and like, I gotta take a look. Let me look. Oh my god, it does. Okay, I gotta try something. Let's see. That's what that is. I don't know why it flies around the way it does, but whatever. It's pretty cool. I like the fact that it has that. I did another one, like just before stream, just to give you another sense. We're just using like spheres, but you get the idea. A little bouncy hoppy thing. I haven't done actual like frame by frame animation in a very long time. So forgive me, cause it's not fantastic, but either way, I'd like to do something with that in the future, but right now, that's not our focus. Our focus is this man. Now, he's an emote in the chat. I added some extra details in Photoshop, like some redness to his face and stuff, so it's a little different here in Procreate, but it's generally the same thing. Generally the same thing. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to duplicate this man and we're going to go, you, you know how, if you were part of the stream last time, what you'll notice that I did, which is very helpful for us now, there's a lot of layers, as you can see, but we have this folder at the bottom. You remember this folder? If you don't, that's fine. Um, let's, uh, let's group all these together for now. We don't really need any of these. Um, we will need them later, so it is important we have this. Let's stick these in a group. And just leave it there. Why is this also in my group? Did I did not tell you to put that in the group. There we go. Okay, so let's close that group. And we have this group. So we turn this off, right? We turn this off, whatever. Boom! 
Our original line art's still there. I did that for the reason of this exact purpose. Also for the fact that we needed to change anything when we were doing our initial drawing. But, this is the main thing. Because we still have these elements. And our eyes and stuff are separated. With a few other details, because I accidentally drew them on, but it's fine. We can redraw those. But there you go, right? His eyes are gone. And we can put in some new eyes, right? Now his mouth is part of this original layer. Woo! What did I do? I have my iPad to the side here, so I'm kind of pressing it, looking at, <laughs> at Streamlabs here. Um, so, we got the eyes, right? Um, but his mouth is part of the original layer, and then we have his little skull decal. So not a lot is separated, which is fine, but the main thing is the eyes because it's interfering with the hair. So that was like the main thing we want to have separated. If it wasn't separated, it's not the end of the world, we would have just erased it. Um, but you know, whatever. It's, it's nice. It gives us a little bit of freedom. The mouth I'm not really worried about because for the most part it's not... It is connecting to the head, but that's easy enough to erase. Um, you know, it's fine. There's not a lot interfering there. So, we're going to go back in and add some stuff. I'm going to change his hands as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure how. Um, I think it's mostly only going to be his, uh, his right hand, or his, his hand closest to us, is going to probably be the other direction. Um, other than that, I don't think the other hand will change. Maybe we'll up the angle a little bit. But I don't think we're going to do too much there. Um, it's mostly going to be in the mouth and the eyes that the... Uh, we're going to do the happy one first. I think. Um, so, yeah. We'll do that. have some uh, things I need to open here. Just some references that I was using. that I think will work well for kind of partially using anyway, mostly the mouth shape because I want to get the mouth right. Um, the one thing about our guy is because we use him as a moats occasionally, um, the way that he's drawn is that his proportions are very big, at least his face is. His mouth is humongous, right? And that just helps for like actual good visibility for the emote. His eyes are fairly large too, not super humongous by any means, but we don't need it to be that big. It works well enough. So, you know, I want to kind of keep that consistency, but I want it to look different enough. So that's the one thing I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to bring the iPad over here and we're going to get started with this. I'm going to lower the microphone a little bit as I look down here. So... I think first to start off, let's get rid of some of these extra bits of hair that's just kind of sitting here. There's some weird lines here. Not sure what that's exactly about. What brush do we have? Well, we do have our normal brush. Okay. Didn't feel like it, but we're not fully used to this stylus either. So there might be a little bit of a learning curve that way. I have used it in the past, but it's been a very long time since I've actually tried to seriously use it. So, apologies if it starts out a little rough. I honestly just want this to have some extra thickness. Woo! That's not our brush. Oh no, it is our brush. Alright, cool. Oop. A little bit of weirdness here, too. There we go. Not the best fix in the world, but it works well enough. Okay, I'm going to get rid of his mouth as well. I believe. Let's just get rid of this. This dude's mouth. We don't need it. it might look a little bit terrifying because his mouth just doesn't exist. Or any facial features at all. That's okay. In reality, I should have thought about drawing the mouth a bit separated from 
the rest of the line art, but it just was not something that occurred to me at that moment. Or if it did occur to me, I can't quite remember. I did not follow through. Either way, again, not the end of the world. As you can tell. Totally fine. There you go. Faceless dude. There you go. <laughs> it's done! No. Um, so what I'm going to do, what I want to do, and because I said let's draw stuff on a separate layer, let's make sure we actually do that this time. Um, so that's what we're going to do this time. I'm going to do another layer, and then this will be our mouth for now. So the mouth, what I want to do is kind of want to, let's just draw a really simple thing, just like a happy kind of thing like that. Um, maybe not as directional as that, but something like that, you know what I mean? I like it, but I didn't like the other side of it. Something like that. Obviously the line's a little too thin, so let's make that a bit bigger. Maybe not quite that big. It's a weird part, because I want it to kind of match our, our face and the previous thickness of the mouth, but I, because we have it separated, it looks a little bit different. Weird, I'm not sure what... I think I'm thinking too hard about it now. Kind of like a... Now it's just an oval that I'm drawing. But well, it is generally what I want. I'm just trying to shrink the... I'm trying to get a shape that's kind of like more straight at the top and curved at the bottom. But like kind of still pretty rounded. The very specific shape I'm going for. I keep screwing it up right at the end. I think that's pretty good. That's generally what I'm going for. It's still not perfect, but we do have to move this a little bit. Oh my god, I got rid of the custom layer. I have to redraw it. God damn it. I'm also not using the buttons that I said I was going to use. I'm not fully used to it yet. See, you can do that. Isn't that cool? I know that does not translate whatsoever when the pen's down here. Definitely not getting the shape I want. Let me just draw like a shape like this then. Yeah, that seems almost too cartoony, doesn't it? I'm trying to get a balance between that. I feel like something like this That's not bad. I could use that. That works for me. I think that'll work. We want that kind of cartoony largeness of it. Something like that. Something like that. I think that's kind of the, the best avenue for us there. There we go. I feel like the pressure sensitivity on this stylus is really going to help us clean up lines faster. Like, look at how fast that, that was. I didn't even think twice about it. It just it happened, and we did it. Great. Okay. I just want to see... <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm going to move the mouth in conjunction with where the eyes were previously. I still feel like it's almost too cartoony still. <clears throat> I 
I'm just being silly. I think it still works. It still works fine. Maybe, uh... I don't know if I could skew this. I'm not sure if I can. I can't do an ascent. I want this to be in the right angle, too. There we go, I think that's better. For sure. Might be able to add some extra details to it. Here's the thing, this style is kind of like half chibi, half not. Which makes it really weird and very strange. <laughs> but okay, we got the, the thing there. I think with the right eyes, this is going to look a lot better. I think those eyes make that look really weird and really cursed. So... What I want to do, pretty simply, is just do like something like this. That's just the eyes like this. Which I think definitely helps. <laughs> I think we just get the full thickness of the brush. This. That might help. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the old eyes here and then just draw on top of it. Just to get the sizing right and the spacing right. Okay. Don't know if I'm fully into that still. I do definitely want to add details to these eyes, but I want the base to be good. You'll see what I mean in a second, I think. I'm still not using the buttons on this. Someday, someday. There you go. I like those. I like that base. So, do that. And what I want to do, there's a little bit of extra detail we can do here. We can add a top line like this. We can also add a, like a bottom line like this, which will just help bring the eyes out a little bit more. We'll do a little bit of erasing here, too, to kind of up the detail, but you can kind of see how it helps a little bit. Oh, and then I want to add some eyebrows as well. Not able to get those hard edges that I'm wanting right now. Thick, fully thick lines. Hmm. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my old stylus because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to do what I want to do right now. The line works completely different with uh, with this device or with the the stylus. Like even with this, it's doing that. It's strange. I don't like that. I have to work with that a little bit myself. I wasn't aware that that was going to be a problem that I was going to come across. Let me disconnect that, and then that's what the line looks like. That's very strange. I'm not a fan of that. Because then what I can do with these is do this. This is actually what I wanted to do in the first place. I'm going to redo all of these. The mouth is fine. I think the eyes maybe could have stayed the same way, actually. Hmm. Hello. Opacity. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Getting the shape I want here. Trying really hard to get it, but I'm not quite getting what I want. There we go. That was almost it. Almost it. Close enough. <laughs> All right. Now I can get the lines that I wanted here. Is this kind of line at the top like this and this at the bottom I'm almost thinking like we should do this sure oh I see something like this I'm just trying to this helps to define the eyes a little bit but not remembering the way I used to do this, but I think I got it now. Yeah, I got it now. Keep putting the line in the wrong spot, but you get the idea. There we go. Something like that, so then what we get here might still need to maybe this down a little bit to match the angle, but yeah, that works. We do that on this side, and then what we'll get is kind of these eyes with a little bit of extra definition, just a little bit extra. Uh, nothing too crazy. Trying to get it in the right spot. I think all I want to do is just add a line here. That. Yep. That's all I wanted to do. There we go. That looks good. So if we do it to this eye as well, it only needs to be this one side. Whoop, Fastity just decided it stop. Trying not to get it to go under the thing. Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. And... See here? Nope, nope. Not doing it. Come on. There we go. Or not. A little bit of a point, but we'll just get rid of that. There we go. Nice. And I'm going to move this over a little bit just to help with some perspective stuff. I'm going to erase a little of this. And nice, nice. I like it a lot, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna add some little extra lines here. Just, I want it to be thinner. I just wanna help it define the, uh, the top of the eye a little bit. Can't get these lines to be at the same spots, but you know, I'm trying. I'm trying. Eh, yeah, close enough. I think we this. Yeah. They keep drawing it too high, but you get the idea. 
There we go, that just helps bring out a little bit of definition. I'm gonna draw some eyebrows on top of this layer here. guy's eyebrows or you know kind of just add a bit of a extra squareness to his eyebrows here see if I can do that there we go nice nice these a little bit and just kind of have them go down a little bit more like that then we'll add a little bit of extra detail here too where we just add a little little cheeky details And in the mouth, I'm going to add that looks weird. There we go. That makes more sense with the perspective. These lines a little bit. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Like that and that looks pretty good I like that a lot for the most part I don't think it's good as the base expression but I do think it definitely has that happy quality that looks a lot nicer and yeah I'm okay with that I'm gonna add a, like a, a little small line under the eyes here too just a very small little detail I think it'll help just amp up the detail a little bit more Maybe not, but... Eh, it's a little detail. Anyway. I think that definitely looks alright. Not too bad, not too shabby. I think we might be able to take this and group this into its own layer. Maybe just scale it up a little bit. Uniform. Or something like that, maybe. To see what I like. Merge that. Don't nope, merge that down. Wait a minute. Duplicate this. I'm trying to see if I can merge the group. I should be able to do that, but it's not letting me do it. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Never mind. I'm being stupid. All right. Wrong thing selected. Let me just erase some of this little bit of detail. Definitely has a better look to it, I think. However, the eyes also seem like humongous. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm doing it too weird. And then order to actually just do this hmm I'm looking at a small on the stream thing 
Let me monitor just to see what I think. Hmm. I think that's the best it's getting. I'm not fully happy with it, but I think it's alright. I'm gonna change his uh, main arms here too. I'm gonna do that as well. I'm not fully sure how we're executing that completely, but my thought is we will start with just erasing this part of his uh, body. The hood will probably not be visible because the arm will be in the way. Whoop. Try to get this line as clean as possible. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's alright. You know what we could do? There you go. Perfect. Okay. Just gonna cut off the line like that. It'll make this a lot easier to erase. Whoa! God. These erasers sometimes are way bigger than I always think they are. Let me just clean that line up too while we're here, and we should be on our way. Or not. There we go. Okay, he's armless now. He has no arm. He's out an arm. Also a train going by right now. That's fun. Okay. So my thought is that we should just have him, like, I don't know. We want to match the thickness of this line, too, so let's make sure we do that. Yep, that looks about right. <laughs> I got that a lot closer, a lot faster than I thought. Okay. So my thought is to just do that. Something like that. <laughs> Doesn't look right, but you get the idea. I think that's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I just gotta get the, the shape right and the angle right. Hmm. I think it's gotta go out more. Still looks weird to me. I feel like I'm doing something weird here. That shouldn't look the way it's looking, but I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I don't like it as much. What if I do this? Still looks strange. I think what it's supposed to be is just like this. You know what? That feels almost more right. I think that's our play here. It has to go out more though. I keep making it like a nub. It's gotta like shoot out. Nope, I keep doing the nub. I keep making the shape weird, that's what I keep doing too. But we're getting there, we're getting there. I just gotta make sure that the shape isn't so strange. No, this doesn't look bad. I feel like that's almost there and not quite. I 
gonna be here a while, ladies and gentlemen. That might be the best one so far. That definitely has the best look to it to me. Kind of just making it even higher than I think I should. I think that's it right there. I'll be honest with you. It just, would just be there, I think. Actually, be more like here, so let's just add the little line there. Yeah, I think that's the best we've done it so far, so I'm gonna commit to that one. Kind of happy hugger, dude. I think with that, I'm gonna change this one too then. I don't fully want to, but I think we can make this go slightly higher. Maybe. Just up a bit more. Just a tad, anyway. Oh, take it up. Yeah, 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 we definitely can. That I think that was the call. We just gotta get the, the shape right once again. That's too long. There we go, perfect. Yeah, that looks way better when you fix the other arm. He looks like he's cheering, he's having a happy time. There we go. Doing those little sleeves back. Maybe. There we go. Perfect. There he is. He's happy again. What did we do here? What is this? I don't know where I did that, but I'm not undoing stuff, so let's fix this. Oh, god damn it. I hate that I drew it on the outside. I don't know when I did that, but that sucks. Anyway, never mind. We fixed it. It's all good. Happy dude. Look at that. That's not too bad. I'm okay. I'm pretty happy with that one. I think that one works well enough anyway. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'll accept it. I'll put that there. I think that just helps define that he still has a hood. Something like this. Gotta get the angle right. Yeah, just a little thing. Just a little thing to be like, hey, look, his hood still exists. Cool. All right, nice. I like that. Now we gotta recolor him basically completely. <laughs> oh, man. Here's a question, though, for you guys. Do you want me to do the color again? Because the color is basically the same thing as what we did last time with this guy. Or do you just want to get right on to the next expression? Because, I mean, I'll do either or. Either way, I think. I'll try to see what we can do to make it a little bit more unique. Because um, here's the thing. Most of the color that I would do for this happy emotion, I'd probably do in Photoshop. Um, like we'll we'll do our base color, but some of the just extra little bits like they'll probably be a little bit pink Maybe on his cheeks or something like that Little tweaks like that um, softer colors. I like doing in Photoshop more than in um, procreate um, I don't know why it's just a preference for me. Um, I it's not like you can't do it in procreate I just I think I like um, working with making things look the, the right amount of soft that I want in Photoshop, I think it, it works out a little bit better. The mic got turned a little bit. Apologies. Um, so, you know, I think ideally um, some of that stuff would be done in Photoshop anyway. 
Um, so. Yeah, not quite perfectly sure on that, but, you know. Either way. Alright, so let's get our dude. Let's uh, color him in again. So we have uh, his color from previously. Well, that's the other thing, too. We want to get this line art in the right spot. Let's see here. Let's get this line art in the right spot. There we go. Let's fix some of this extra bits of line art here. Get rid of that now. I guess we can get rid of this too. Uh, let's see. Where is this? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extend his lines down to the base of the frame. And we'll be good to continue. There we go. Fantastic. Look at how happy he is. Okay. So with that, we're going to duplicate this. Flatten that. Fantastic. And uh, I'm going to basically use the color from this to put it into this. Now this looks like utter complete trash. That's because we activated this entire layer. They don't want to do, I just want the color layer. And also on top of that, I'm going to obviously redo the color because it's not in the right places, but you get the idea. We're going to bring this line art to the forefront and color it in black. We do get rid of our old line art. Since we duplicated it from the other one, I'm not too um, sad about deleting our old line work and stuff because we already still have that file. Um, let's recolor this bad boy to the black. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Let's copy some of this color here. Let's also reference this image while we're here. Okay. Let's copy some stuff. So here's this. Skin tone. New layer. Pop that underneath. Here we go. We can color. So we want to make sure we get the shading as close to possible as four. Um, obviously, we can ooh, put red hue to the line art. That I'm noticing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to do the recolor in a different way. I'm just going to turn the saturation down and the brightness all the way down. Make sure that we have. Well, what I thought wouldn't have red edges, but for some reason has some red edges. For a peculiar reason. I'm not sure why that is. Mostly just the eyes. You guys seeing these red edges for some reason? I'm not sure why that's like that, because down here, it's like that everywhere. Never mind. Literally everywhere. I'm not sure why that is. Do you have an old version of line art still? Yes. That's why. There we go. I was wondering why that was like that. <laughs> I was like, why does our line art have a red tinge? It shouldn't. There we go. All right, all right, all right. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. I was panicking for a second. Not really panicking, just kind of like, what? Confused. All right, so let's get our flat colors in here for now. Whoa. What's that about? There we go. 
Like, that's not where I wanted it to go, but okay. Do that. And that. I guess we'll put our base skin tone, hopefully, in here. There we go. Notifications. Oh, yes, right. You gotta count how many times it happens. Let's just do this one. Alright. There's our skin tone. Let's get our sweater tone in here now. It was a much lighter gray than I, I thought we went with. I was looking back at our stream that we did of drawing this original dude. And he was... Uh, the sweater was a lot lighter gray than I thought. Um, I ended up kind of turning it into a, a darker gray. Unintentionally. Um, from our original choice just on stream by uh, basically <laughs> deciding to uh, change some of the, the levels in Photoshop at the end. So the actual emote of this guy is a little bit dimmer the way it ends up working, I guess. Right, we got that, we got, use the right red. Now I imagine, I probably just, I, I don't know if I put in the, the risk red red or if I just cho chose a unique red. No, it's definitely a unique red. You guys are curious, the risk red color of red is F4000, very simple. That is the red color that I use here, if you were wondering. All right, so let's uh, get rid of that. There we go. Perfect. It's gonna be impossible to paste this one into all of these. I'm just gonna paint it in. Here we go. Perfect. And there you go. All right, so we have most things set here. Um, oh, we're gonna want this color again. Paint it in here for the hoodie color. And we want the hair color and the mouth color as well, I guess. <laughs> that is also useful. Go get the tongue in there. I believe the mouth itself was just pure black. Could be wrong. Oh, it looks like it was just pure black. There's that. What was the hair color? This brownish color. Look at that. And our flat color should be done, unless I miss somewhere. Nope, that looks good to me. There we go, there he is. The champ. Having a good old time. Pretty good, all right, so. Now we're gonna add our uh, lighting. Which is pretty simple, pretty uh, self-explanatory here. Um, what we did for the lighting, and let's just get rid of this real quick. Actually, let's turn the line art. That's cursed. But anyway. Um, so what we did for the lighting on this guy. We can just turn these all back on for now. We're not going to really re be referring to this layer other than um, for a little bit here. So here's all the lighting. No line art, but that's fine. Um, so basically on the black layer here. There's two layers. There's a normal, which opacity is set to, like what, 20 basically. The so normal set to 20, and then this one's set to overlay, and this one's set at like 36. Let's just keep that in mind when we're doing it for 
Power dude. Right now. Yeah, there's a few things we'll do here for highlights and stuff. Honestly, we might be able to actually, and I might actually do this. There's a, a bit we can copy from here. I think the, the hair highlights, total, all the hair highlights I think we can copy here. I think this, 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 and this, we can group together. put on top of our guy. There, there it is. Guys, we did the hair highlights already. Oh my gosh. Pretty much. <laughs> I say pretty much um, because the sizing is not quite right. But it's almost there. I'm just going to get rid of these uh, mouth highlights. I wasn't sure what these two here were. Oops. He... I was unsure what this all was. Eh, close enough. Either way. And there's the highlights for the most part. There was also shadows, but I think I basically just did that in manually, yeah. Yeah, we'll just redo the shadows, that's fine. But we can copy the highlights, which are the, the more specific parts, um, so that's fine. Just trying to cut out any extra work that we might not need to do. Um, yeah. Shadows we'll just do brand new. It was all in one layer, so... All right, there we go. So let's now start our shadow, shadow layer. Do that, and where do we set this? We set this to like 20. Yeah, that seems about right. I like to make the shadows a bit thicker. Just because why not, you know. Get a bit of a shadow here. There's not too much for me to add here from what we did originally. We're basically just kind of copying that to a degree. Obviously not fully, but you, you get the idea. I'm gonna make that a bit thinner. See here, that's the same kind of thing we were doing. Go. Okay, so let's see here. Add a little bit there. I think overall this expression's all right. Already an hour and a half in this. I did not think it was going to take that long. We might not get to the other expression today. We will see. I don't have a huge amount of time today. So that's the only reason I really say that. I think the shading's pretty much done on that front. There's not too much I want to do there. So yeah, pretty much done there. All right, cool. Let's uh, get this on his whole face here. Oh, 
some shading. Screwed that line up a little bit. There we go, that's kind of what I wanted. I don't know how thick I made that shading last time, that's the only problem. Um, I might thicken it up a little bit just to give a bit more depth here. But I don't want to do too much. Yeah. I think that's about as thick as I'd want it to be. Yeah, that's, that's as thick as I'll do it. It's not getting any thicker than that for me. Sit on that side, so this will be where the shadow comes in from. On this side. this to the hair as well to be unique go put some shadow on his hair as well nice okay, where else can we add some shadow here I guess we can add some beneath his eye here if we really want to Didn't really need to do that, but whatever, you know. Why not? We have the ability, I'm gonna do it. Nope, that line's not connected the way I want. I'm just doing this line awfully. Yeah, sure, that works for me. extra depth there and we also want to add some to the mouth here I believe too yeah just like that there you go clean up this edge here there you go I gotta clean this up. The the was not the way to clean it up. That was the way. There you go. All right, cool. And uh, oh yeah, let's add some shadow to his tongue as well here. here as well there we are uh, that's pretty much everything other than the top of the hair here which we'll do as well what I remember the, the hair here was pretty much just is that going into like this little hard to see here we turned this off last time I don't know how well you guys can see this probably not well it's not a huge amount of color difference um, but it's fine um, I'm just gonna do this pretty quick it's not too complicated so try to get the rest of this out of here done there we go whoops Okay. Here we go. A little bit. Ooh, these lines are too thick. 
be good in a second. I think that's everything now. Oh wait. Never mind, I'm wrong. There we go. <laughs> and then we can duplicate that. We can set this one to uh, overlay. And there you go, we got our, our shading lighting right now. There you go, and I'm just gonna back out of here just to look at our other one. You can see our happy guy, and there's our angry guy on the bottom there. You can see that the shading's pretty much the same. I did make it a little bit thicker on his face there. So I might thin that up a little bit. Um, and it seemed like also on his hair it's just a bit thicker too. Um, but the rest of it's pretty much the same. It does appear to be, anyway. Yeah, pretty much the same everywhere else. Um, obviously, we have some highlights to do here on our guy as well, um, but I'm just going to clean up a little bit of uh, shadow here. Delete that for now. Go. One more subtle. I'm trying to make this a little bit more subtle too. There we go. That's better. That's closer to what we had. Duplicate that. Set that to overlay, and then we'll be good. Nice. Okay, perfect. What I want, and then we're going to do our highlights now. And the highlights are really easy because all I do for highlights is just pure white. For the most part, the hair is kind of an exception. Yeah. And we're not going to add highlights to the decal because that's just a flat decal, doesn't have any depth. Go, add that to the hand. I think that's pretty much all the highlights right there <laughs> on the bottom anyway. on the side of the face. We're going to put a highlight on this side of the mouth. That. But I can't quite get it the way I want it to be. But you get the idea. And then this will make the mouth kind of have like a little bit of a pop to it. Kind of match the lighting, make it come out a little bit more. All cool, all good, all good. All those highlights on the hair not fully white? No, they weren't. Alright. Oh yeah. Like, am I missing highlights? Yes, I am. Hold on. Okay, I was like, I, I don't think I did a fully white one on the tongue either, which I did not. Just not... Huh? I'm not sure why the, um, the white's not going over the tongue color. It's not going over anything, actually. Oh, it's because it's an eraser, that's why. That would make sense. <laughs> I keep hitting sides of the thing. Alrighty. 
There's that. Do a little bit of this too. I don't know what I did for the color here. I assume it was probably a combination of this and overlay, like everything else. But I'm not quite sure what I did here. Thinking maybe, uh... Maybe it was that? I don't know. I'm just gonna pretend like that's what it is. Because <laughs> I don't quite know. Um, is that everything for highlights? Feels like not enough, but at the same time, I think that is everything. Seems like everything. Yep. Basically is. And there you go. I mean, we basically have our alternate guy now. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Um, I guess let's drag this guy into Photoshop um, and do some stuff. We'll uh, come back to chat for now. Whoop. Go between that and this scene after I've been on the iPad for a while. It's always like super not sure about what it is. This is one of my references for the mouth. Um, anyway, let me do that in a second. I'm just going to export this guy because I got to put him into Google Drive. To do that, you do that for now. Um, I don't think we're gonna get to the other one right now today. Um, wasn't sure how long this was gonna take. Um, seemed to take a little bit longer than I thought. Get my battery out of my other stylus so I don't waste it. Great. I still, haven't, <laughs> I still haven't shared this to Google Drive. Google Drive, Google Drive, come on. Takes a while to load. Alrighty, alrighty. Putting in the name. There we go. All right, so um, I think what we'll do when we put him into Photoshop is just kind of clean up some of his um, colors a little bit, like we did with the other one. Um, I mean, we didn't do that on stream, but that's what I did. I, I added a little bit of gradient stuff just to give him a bit more lighting, um, added a bit to um, enhance the colors a little bit, make some of the colors darker, some of the colors a little bit lighter. Um, you know, there's a few little things here and there that I did, but it's nothing too complicated. Um, so, no, that's a thing. Um, let's see here. Did I, oh, okay, that did share. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, let me see here. Yes. That's all I want to do for now. Just hiding that for now because I have to go into my account to get to Google Drive. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, do that real quick. Whoop. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Wrong one, dude. I'm gonna delete stuff out of Google Drive because I won't be able to get my Gmail now if I don't do that. So there's that that I have to do. <laughs> Alright, we got it. I just need to open it in the... Uh, that. There we go. There we go. Photoshop should be opening shortly. I'm just going to wait for it to open first before I do anything. A few files that I cannot share that it might show in the list of viewer, which I wish I could turn off, but I can't. Oh, never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. There he is. There he is. Oh no! Wait. There we go. I went to the wrong one. I went to the wrong one. 
<laughs> okay, so we got our dude. We got our dude. Pretty cool. Pretty rad. Here he is. Happy as always. Um, I guess a couple things we can do for now um, is basically delete everything that we don't need <laughs> for one. But I'm going to turn the background off too. Um, I think we're good. I don't think anything's coming out of the color. It looks like we're good. Um, I didn't check to clean that up, but it looks like we're fine. So we got this. Um, what I want to do, actually, give me a sec. I'm going to open this too, because I don't know how recent in the files this is. Uh, I have to go and find the original one. I'll show you kind of the differences here with the color. Yeah, okay, there it is. So here's this um, BB dude with the color, right? You see how it's kind of a bit different? He's kind of got a bit more of a, a contrast a little bit. I up the colors, I up the saturation a little bit, a bunch of different stuff that makes him kind of pop a little bit more. So we want to do that. Obviously we do our normal stroke and outline that we do where we thicken up the, the outlines of the, the black a little bit, of the white a little bit, all that stuff, but that's not like the huge concern. The main thing is getting the color here right. Um, there's these versions too, which I think, yeah, you can see there's, um, you can't really see in the layers, but there's like kind of like this black gradient that goes over, a little bit of red and stuff, a little bit of white on the hair, stuff like that. I think on top of this, I also changed the color of his hair hair, just his actual hair color, we copy this, go oh, here, yeah, it's very slight and subtle in the difference, but if we go on here and we change the hair color, watch, just slightly darker, so I did that, um, sweater actually is pretty much the same color, I did up the, the levels on this, so I, I did just up the general con, general contrast on this image um, but for the most part it's the same um, but the hair is actually just genuine genuinely darker um, so the few things I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically take our main dude take the parts that we need duplicate it merge it and then we have an actual um, merged version. And then we're going to essentially just overlay some stuff here that I want to put. So for one, I want to put kind of just a black brush just doing this um, as flow. I don't need flow at all. That's what I want to do. I want to erase a little bit where his face is so that his face pops a little bit more. Um, that stuff, put a little bit more hand again, um, yeah, basically that, and then we're gonna just, um, probably set this, I don't know what I set this to, probably like multiply or something, I, I wanna get the consistency, right, oh, I did set that to overlay, I set it to overlay, but I set it to, like, a very minimal, to 33, You can see the difference that causes already. It just gets a little bit of a darker color on this side. Um, so there's that. Um, the other thing I did, I know I did, is I copied this again, um, our main layer, and I basically just did like a white color on top, straight across like that. Now the brush is too big. I think I did that, from what I remember. I believe this one here. That again is an overlay, but it's not that bright. Something like that. And that just amplifies the hair a little bit. So with and without, you can see how it kind of had some depth to his hair and everything. You know, just little things like that. What I did last time, just playing around. 
and I liked it. I liked how it looked. And that's basically all I did to this, other than I added some extra color um, for his face, which we're going to do now. Um, I'm also going to uh, level this a little bit differently. Just a little bit. We're going to put this in another folder, duplicate the group, and then we're going to merge this group. Then we're going to basically just level this a little bit differently. I'm going to add a little bit of saturation in as well. You can see the basically the same at this point. Not quite, but it's it's close enough to the point that it's, you know, doing whatever. Hey Carly and hey to Ray as well. How you doing? We're just finishing up our uh, our happy version of our old angry boy in the emotes. You're on the treadmill. Okay. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for uh, coming on by, though. Um, funny enough, I can't really show it. I don't have my secondary camera hooked up right now. But I do have uh, <laughs> a treadmill over to my side that I never use. I'm trying to keep the bot in average of best shape. Fair enough. I am not at that. Mine is awful. How to use the treadmill. I'd love to, like, get in proper shape, but man... Then you spend like five minutes and you're like, I'm going to do it. And then you do it. And then you're like, nope. At least for me. Whoop. Photoshop just disappearing on me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. One thing I want to do. We have our little uh, cheeky lines here, which I might even want to modify a little bit. I would almost make white, maybe. Make them like a... A pinkish color, because like what I like to do, we we can actually probably use the tongues pink. That's actually probably what will work. That's too small. Something like this. Not gonna use that yet. Do something like that, and then you say, uh, I mean, there's multiple things. I'm not sure what I want to go with fully. Multiply seems to be a good one. I don't want it to be too bright, but it'll be a little bit of soft color. I might blur this a little bit too. I want it to be a bit softer than it is. Kind of a hybrid of that. I want it to be somewhere there. Something like that, right? Just for that happy emotion, but I think what I want to do too, I'm just going to try this. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, is get a white. Or kind of a, not a white, but, well, we could try a white. I don't think a white's exactly what I want. But we could try it. What did I pick? Oh, I picked the stupid magnet. Magnet select. Give me my paint bucket, please. Paint bucket. Thank you. What do I have pink? Not what I want. Oh, right, the color. Yes. Yeah, that's not doing what I want it to do. Might be able to just draw these in manually. I could invert it too, but we've already put the color on and merged everything. So I don't really want to dedicate pulling everything apart again if it's going to look terrible. Getting the brush size wrong. We just do this and this and this. This is a quick test just to see if I like the color contrast. Eh. I don't hate it. Hard to see, though. I think like that. I don't know. It brings out the pink a little bit more. There's that. See here. Let me just do a line. Let me add a little bit of flow to this. Sorry, not flow. I want smoothing. 
I did not know that Photoshop had smoothing until recently. Very nice. Works well. Alright, let me, uh... This is a really crappy way of making a line, but... You get the idea. Oops. Just do this in Photoshop. There you go. Oh wait, I drew this on top of this whole thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did. My god, I don't know. This is too much work that I don't really want to do for like the most minimalist bit of design. Hmm. I don't hate the black lines, I just think that... Hmm. It could go whichever way, honestly. Actually, you know what I could do? Hold on. I just realized something I can do right now. Yeah, we can cheat this actually. Um, I just have to figure out where I put everything. There we go. Pull this out. Actually, duplicate it first. For safety reasons. Um, then we can invert this. And now it's white. There's a little bit of interference from the black, but if we just take this, add a color to this, uh, and then we invert, we can delete everything, and then we kind of have our color here. There is a little bit of interference here, but then we can just add a stroke of white around it. This is black, but do that. There you go. There. Then we have that. Which looks good, too. I don't know what I'm into, though. It's a little harder to see that. I think it looks good. I mean, I like it either way. It's just, like, tiny little... Tiny little things that I go, like, hmm... Which do I want? Do I want it like this, or do I want it slightly different? I do this all the time. I'm gonna try putting a different color over it and seeing what I like. Ooh, that's like a reddy. A red color. Ooh, that actually helps make it darker. Not bad either. Yeah, I kind of like it like that, actually. Works with the color a little bit better. There we go. That's all right. And one last thing I'm gonna do which shouldn't be too difficult to do. I'm going to take that same pinkish color and basically just do a really big overlay. So we're just going to take a big brush. A thousand, look at how big this brush is. Whoa. Uh, well, I mean, we're basically going to do that. I'm going to do this like that. I'm going to copy our main layer, invert the selection so it's only within our bounds of our dude. And then I'm going to basically select here the hair as best as I can. We're going to have to do a little bit to do this. Wow, that... Oh, I selected the wrong thing. Eh. Or not. Man, this really wants to select everything, doesn't it? Set the tolerance lower. There we go. That's too low. Tolerance and stuff in Photoshop is very odd. It's just, it's, it's weird. It doesn't like to do anything that you want it to. But anyway, let's uh, go back to this and then delete that. That helps a little bit. I think we're just going to have to manually go in and delete anyway. Um, but what I want to do is I want to set this to uh, something that will make this color pop. not quite sure. You getting requests for work yet? Beyond Schiller? Uh, no. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that. I mean, no. I'm not really. I'm doing a little bit more stuff with Schiller on other stuff that I can't talk about. Um, but, you know, but that changes? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. 
for the most part, I just do some... I've done a little bit of work outside of other stuff. Uh, but it's nothing like... Uh, I want to change this color, actually. I don't like it being pink. Um, for the most part, the work that I do... Would you want work? Uh, depends. Depends what it is. Because I said to him uh, at one point, we were talking about it earlier, before he tweeted out about me doing art and stuff. He's like, do you want me to do that? And I'm like, eh, go ahead. I don't really care. Like, I mean, you know, obviously I appreciate it. It's not what I mean by that. Just one of those things, like, you know, you either you either get some work or you don't. You just kind of see what happens. I'm not sure what color I want here. I was thinking it was going to be red, but maybe it'll be more of a yellow? Maybe just a white. A bit of that. You know what? I think the white's actually one of the better plays here. Yeah, Twitter is a very uh, interesting place for just, like, growing things. However, I've been on it for a very long time, and not, not much has come of that. That being said, my Twitter's been all over the place for a long time, so there, there's that, too. Ooh, what, what happened there? That's weird. I don't know what's going on there. Ooh, that's almost scary. That's like a spooky. I want to just add a little bit of like extra oomph to the to his face, but nothing's really striking me as something I like. Maybe I'll just live without it. I think I think we're good enough with the, the happiness like that. I think he's fine. Maybe we'll add a little bit of a white highlight just between his nose or something like that. I just want to add a little bit of extra detail if I can. Something that'll look de decent anyway. Do anything? Oh, it's set to multiply. Yeah. Oh. It's set to multiply because it's on <laughs> an existing layer. There we go. That adds a little bit of contrast. I'm going to just overlay that, add some blur. I want to add a highlight to his face, as I said. Yeah, see, it's very subtle, but it just adds a little bit of a extra, extra oomph, I think. And I think on top of that, I can set this to be like a color overlay or something. Have this be that, like, kind of reddish color, and then... Blend in a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more of an orange, actually. I want it to be more like a skin tone color. There you go. Little, like, subtle, like, bits of, of highlighting really helps just bring some stuff out I find anyway especially for emotes and stuff all right well I'll leave it there for him other than adding a stroke uh, like a little outline um, we'll do that and then I think we're good there duplicate this once again merge them together for these Save this, and then I'm going to save an alternate one here. Uh, let's see here. Got to find the right spot for it. Always save like the max file of your art, or you know, like the master file. And then if you're going to make like an alternate version, like this is like the main full drawing we did, and we modified it obviously. Um, but, uh, 
we're making a moat of it, I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit and cut some of it off. Um, so save that as a separate file. Seems obvious enough, but I didn't do it for a long time. And some of my art that I'm like, oh man, I remember my art that was like this. And then I'm like, oh, I only have like a quarter of the image because I zoomed it in or something. And that's the only version I have. Uh, there you go. Let's just do that. Cool. And uh, zoom them in now. Actually, let's get the, the stroke the outline around him first and then we will do the thing. I also want to see if this outline is going to be jittery or not. That looks fine. Oh, there's a few little artifacts though. Not sure where those are coming from. Why is that all pure white? Oh, I see an error in our image. The highlight's getting cut off here. So I want to fix that. I also want to make these softer. So there's a few things we can fix here that I didn't notice until now. So, okay. What can we do about any of that? Um, well, we can fix a few of these things pretty easily, actually. Um, so first off, the color, we're just gonna erase it. I know, it's crazy. You can do that though, it's, it's amazing. Okay. Go. Erase the color, wow, we did it. Amazing. Um, the other thing we're gonna do, we're going to take this, erase this part of it, Um, and then we did draw that on top of the highlights, so what I'm going to do to fix that, I'm just going to add a bit of white on top of that in its own layer, I guess. Not sure why that didn't do that. Now I'll delete that layer and just do that. There we go. Not sure what we deleted there. Might have been an empty layer. Um, a little bit of black there, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll just take a brush here. Pile up the hardness a bit. That's still way too big. Okay, and then what we're going to do with this. Uh, sorry, these. We're going to select it. We're going to say select and mask, which selects those areas, and then we can say shift edge, which will cut off a little bit in the inside. And then we can say smooth, which will smooth it out. Like that. We can add a little bit of contrast to make it a bit harder, something like that. And then we just invert it and delete, and then it'll clean our edges up. Very nice little Photoshop tool, it's very useful. Very useful, I like it a lot. All right, cool, so there we go. A little bit that I wanted to fix, now that I saw it. Right, let's delete that, and now we're back, and we can add the stroke around it again. All right, so let's add that. Um, there's a, a few things little artifacts on the stroke here. I'm not fully sure what all of them are here. The weird little bit of shadow going on over here that apparently is getting inter or interfered with the outline here. I'm gonna clean that up. There we go. A little bit of something there. Something up here too. There it is. Saw something down here as well. Yeah, a little weird. Here, not sure what that is, but there's something. I think that's everything. I didn't see anything else that stood out specifically to me. A little bit of weirdness here, actually.
That looks a little odd. Can't tell if that's from the stroke or there's something else. So I think there's a little bit of that highlight color coming through and that's what we're seeing there. Um, so that's interesting. Um, put a dark background behind this so I can clean that up properly because otherwise I will not be able to see it. Um, not too dark though. Something like a gray. There we go. See that there? Just a little bit of that. I'm just going to do that. Not the best fix in the world, but what I'm going to do now, now that I think we have everything fixed up here, is I'm going to select this again. I'm actually just select and mask this um, and add a little bit of a smoother line to this whole thing um, because I think that's going to help us out here. Um, for getting this other stroke a little bit nicer. See, some of these edges are a little harsh. Um, so if we shift this in just a little bit, you can see the line kind of adjust a little bit. Might be hard to see on stream, but the, the lines just go in a little bit. And then we can smooth this out a little bit. You gotta see the smoothing taking effect. If you do it too much, it's gonna be way too smooth. Um, you don't wanna do it too much. Here the contrast is good. And there you go. So we do that. It's a very subtle change, so we probably won't notice it too much visually here, but it will help our stroke here. Or in theory it should, anyway. Let's see if it actually does. It does, for sure. For sure helps that out. Um, I'm just going to go back to our uh, other chibi to make sure the line is relatively the same thickness. So that's about that. Yeah, that looks about right. There we go. We're at a white outline. That's a little too thick for me, I think. Something like that might be good. Just make sure we're getting around the same thing. Yeah, I think we might even have it a bit thicker on this guy. But it's hard to say. Put it right about there, and there you go, dude. I mean, that's basically our dude right there. Um, I'm just going to resize him to make him the right uh, size here. Merge this guy down again, and then we'll resize him so the stroke doesn't change size on us for whatever reason. Oh, we had it in the right spot, but then he got resized. Weird, weird. And there you go. I mean, he's basically in the same spot, too. Emotes! Hooray, we did it! And I am feeling like that about this emote. <laughs> I'm feeling happy about it. He looks pretty good. He's happy. Luckily, we didn't have to do the sad one today. Because <laughs> that probably would have rubbed off on me eventually, and I just would have felt like terrible about drawing this chibi character to look real sad and disappointed. <laughs> but he's looking happy. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure how translating emotion on this guy uh, was going to look. Yeah, he looks great. It does. Um, but I wasn't sure how emotion was going to translate to this guy. Because I'd only ever drawn him with this kind of face, other than we changed it um, from the original, giving him the, the angry eyebrows. But that wasn't a huge leap from what I've done before, so I've never actually tried to give him another expression, and I think it worked out pretty well. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, in terms of this becoming an emote, I'd love to. We don't, we're out of emote slots right now. I mean, it could be a tier 3 emote, but I think that's a little insane. Um, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, but, you know, maybe someday. Maybe someday. I also might be setting up a Discord at some point in the future. It can live there, but either way. I enjoy drawing some of the stuff that we do here I, anyway, you know. It's a fun time. You know, we're just chilling, we're just kind of doing whatever, and uh, yeah, it's real cool, real cool. So, um, other than that, that's pretty much all I have for today. I was going to look a little bit at doing the, the other emote um, and look into doing that, but it's a little late now. I do have to head out in a little bit, so 
we got to cut it off for now. Um, and at some point in the future, maybe we'll look more into that uh, animation part of Procreate um, that I completely forgot existed. Um, so we can see what we can do with that. Um, not sure what we'll do with that, but uh, there's definitely potential there. Um, and it'll give me good practice for getting uh, animation and stuff uh, kind of figured out. At least, you know, frame by frame stuff. I used to do that when I was uh, a lot younger. Um, just with like, you know, probably really terrible programs to use now. I'm looking at it. Um, but, you know, it was something. It was a little like stop motion animator programs. Um, it's kind of where I learned a little bit of animation for frame by frame stuff. But, uh, you know, since it's been so long, and also I was never really super good at it even then, my ability there is kind of. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. I, I get the concepts and everything, but sometimes the execution of them, uh, of doing stuff there, isn't as good. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Anyway, um, yeah, that's basically everything for me for today, though. Hope you guys enjoyed all of you that came out. Thanks for coming on by. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't know when next stream will be. Well, that's not completely true. Um, probably not tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe we'll do Breath of the Wild tomorrow. Um, depends what's going on. Uh, there is some stuff that I'm doing, so sometimes that takes me away from doing some streams. But uh, if I have the time to dedicate tomorrow, I might do some more Breath of the Wild. Um, you know, I've been having fun with that myself. Um, I hope that those of you who have come to those streams or, have, you know, just check them out here and there after uh, in the VOD section. You know, liked what you've seen and uh, might want to come check that out. No guarantees on that, though, um, but we might do some Breath of the Wild there. The other thing I'm going to do um, is on Thursday, I'll be on stream with Jesse that came by earlier, um, also with Carly, so hello Carly. <laughs> um, we're going to be playing some Stardew Valley. Um, I've never played it. Uh, that, that's not completely true. I went and made my character, and that's all I did. Um, so, you know, I haven't really done any more beyond that, um, so that'll be a completely new experience. Um, so that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Um, I will be on that stream. I don't know if I'll be streaming f directly from my end. I might be. I might not be. Not sure. Um, so yeah. Either way, I'll tweet about it. It'll be there. So if you're interested in watching that, it'll be on Twitter. I will tweet about it. Other than that... Oh, and on Friday. On Friday. Uh, the release of Game Builder Garage comes out. If you haven't heard about it, it is Mario Maker... The developers of Mario Maker have made this sort of, um, like, just maker game. You make games. It's kind of cool. Um, apparently it existed with Nintendo Labo stuff in a lesser degree, but like Labo Garage. But you, you needed the Labo. You needed the cardboard stuff. Now you don't. It's just a game. That sounds fun. I have some ideas. I think we could maybe do in that. So, Friday, I think we'll do that. So, if I stream tomorrow... There might be three days of streams. That's pretty good. Either way, I have some stuff I want to do there. And if you're a fan of Rocket Ball, then you might want to check out that Game Builder Garage stream, possibly. We'll see. I think you might have to unlock tools by doing tutorials, so that might be fun. Or not fun, but we'll see. <laughs> so, anyway, that's some stuff to look forward to in the future. May or may not stream tomorrow. I plan to at the moment, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for uh, everybody that came on by. Hope you enjoyed what we did today, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. See you guys later.